West to Harmin Freon and welcome to it another video. Do you remember the quite recent news that the Tolkien portfolio was for sale and Amazon is going to make the infamous uh, The Rings of Power and at the same time Warner Brothers are preparing the, the War of the Rohirrim anime and uh, some people were speculating that this may cause some trouble as well. We've got an interesting article here that is delving deeper into the matter. So let's get into it. Lord of the Rings biggest battle may be in court, not Middle Earth. With the news of Zane's Co's plans to shop the Tolkien portfolio, a new battle in court with Warner Brothers may be looming on the horizon. The Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit trilogies are known for their epic battles, like the Battle for Minas Tirith and the Battle of the Five Armies. When it comes to a franchise so ingrained in a medieval high fantasy setting, it can be hard to imagine it in a real-world context. However, the biggest Lord of the Rings battle may be coming up soon, but instead of a classic battle between in two armies, this potential conflict would be between team of lawyers. If you want to know my opinion, I would rather be a part of a battle between two armies than a battle between teams of lawyers. Warner Brothers currently owns the film rights to the Lord of the Rings franchise. The original Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movie trilogies were both distributed by the studio between 2001 and 2014. Warner Brothers also recently announced that it has partnered with New Line Cinema to create The War of the Rohirrim, a standalone anime adaptation about Helm Hammerhand, the ninth king of Rohan. The movie is set before the events of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and will be directed by Ghost in the Shell standalone complex director Kenji Kamiyama. The Soul Sense company acquired the Tolkien portfolio in the mid-1970s, around the time of J.R.R. Tolkien's death. Zen's Co. initially licensed the Lord of the Rings film rights to Peter Jackson, which gave him the opportunity to create the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movie trilogies. However, Zen's company is reportedly shopping the entire Tolkien portfolio, which includes movies, video games, merchandise and theme parks. This doesn't bode well for Warner Brothers, which, re which planned to release The War of the Rohirrim in 2024. Warner Brothers is currently insisting that it met its contractual obligations to retain the film rights by frequently releasing new installments of the property, working in a timely manner and constantly paying Zen's company on time. A Warner Brothers spokesman told Variety that New Line Cinema has maintained the theatrical film rights, both live action and animated, for over two decades now in an article released this month, which may be a factor in the studio's belief that it should be allowed to keep the film rights. Zen's company's decision to shop the Tolkien portfolio could have major consequences for the upcoming The War of the Rohirrim movie. If Warner Brothers loses the film rights to the Lord of the Rings franchise, the movie could either be picked up by whichever film studio buys the rights to the Tolkien portfolio, or the movie could be cancelled. This is especially disappointing for the Lord of the Rings fans, as the movie had already been announced back in June 2021, and concept art for the project was released earlier this month. I have uh, made a video about that, you can check it out on my channel, by the way. The current state of the negotiations between Zen's company and Warner Brothers is unclear. The two companies are holding a private medi mediation to discuss the disagreement over the franchise rights and to decide whether Warner Brothers has met the requirements to keep the license to movie adaptations of Tolkien's works. While this dispute will most likely affect the future of film adaptations of Tolkien's works, it will not affect... The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, oh, pity, which is set to start streaming on Amazon Prime in September 2022, as this series is the product of a deal between Amazon and the Tolkien estate. Oh. The Lord of the Rings franchise is highly profitable, oh no, <clears throat> with the original Lord of the Rings movie trilogy grossing nearly $3 billion worldwide. Uh, from Zen's company's perspective, it makes sense to consider selling the franchise to a new film studio as it could potentially generate more income from the already successful property. From Warner Brothers' picture, uh, perspective, having the Lord of the Rings film rights stripped away so suddenly would result in a huge loss for the company. There can only be one winner. Ah, like the Highlander. There can only be one in this battle for the rights to the franchise. And this battle could potentially be bigger than anything we've seen on screen. What do you think about that, my friends? What do you think about this? I think, as I always say in my videos, that it doesn't really matter. Because I 
love the books. Uh, uh, that's, all, that's all I love. I love the books. I love Peter Jackson's trilogy, the first one. I don't really care about the rest. I mean, uh, I uh, was and I am still quite interested in the War of the Rohirrim as it looks, well, you know, from the first picture released, like the Lord of the Rings by Peter Jackson. And of course, you know my opinion <laughs> of, <laughs> on the Rings of Power. I have expressed it very loudly on my channel many times. Uh, but the battles between lawyers, I mean, who only care about money and the companies, most of the companies also just care about money. It's all up. It's just money, money, money. I think that uh, the, the people who care about Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings the most are fans. So what do you think about that? I'm asking once again. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. That'll be all. Let's see how this battle shall, well, end. And that'll be all. Namariye.